Oh, I got three. Oh, nice walleye. Yeah. Oh, get up here. <laughs> Look at there, boys. Well, welcome back to another video, guys. We are going to be going ice fishing here in South Dakota. I am back home for the weekend. I was just up with John in North Dakota, and we're doing some ice fishing up there. And, well, I'm back down here now. And we actually found a lake that has safe ice. It's actually got more ice than any of the lakes that we fished up north in Minnesota or North Dakota. So, that is a good sign. It is going to be very, very windy today. There is a little bit of open water on the north end of the lake, but we're going to be at least probably a half a mile away from it. So, we should be all right. Um, hopefully that wind doesn't kick up the water on top of the ice and floats our way. That would not be ideal. We are going to be safe. We're going to make sure that the water does not get too close to us. And if it does, we're going to skedaddle out of there. But before we get further into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that Stux is having a whole bunch of sales on their hats, shirts, calls, sweatshirts, everything. I'll pop up a picture right here. And uh, make sure you guys go check them out. I'll leave their link down below. But that being said, we're going to go ahead to the lake. I'm heading out with Peyton and Connor. You guys have seen them plenty of times on the channel before. So we're going to go hit the road and we'll see you guys out at the lake. We're going to be ice fishing today here in South Dakota actually. We got about three and a half inches, about 20 yards off the shoreline and then after that it kind of tapers out. Oh, we got the ice picks. Let me throw these on real quick. I didn't check the ice yet. That was all Peyton and Connor. They are out here joining me today. So it should be a good one. Peyton actually got everything set up. I was dialing around getting my camera stuff all situated and he actually caught a decent perch it looks like. You guys can actually see the shack. We are going to go ahead and get out there and uh, see if we can't catch anything. Well, we're out here. We got a bobber rod. We got a little jig on there and then a minnow hook to the dorsal there. Drop her back down. We're fishing, I think, four feet of water. It's pretty shallow. Actually, very shallow. I just got a little green jig and a green and white little plastic. Uh, going something a little loud and bright so they can see it. Right. Just gonna be pounding this at about a foot above bottom, but we got two high fish pros set up as well. So we're gonna see if we can't catch any fish. Oh, fish. High fish pro, baby! Get it, kid. Woo -hoo -hoo. Another perch. Oh, oh nice. Should we start keeping them? Should we? We shall. Alright. What's the second one, dude? Oh. Well, let me see that thing. Nice little suit tag. First or second? Second fish. for me. Absolutely. But. Good boy. That place is chalked. <laughs> like, I was scared. No way! Yeah, yeah. What are you going to say anything, kid? I just felt it. Do a little grip? <laughs> Not a nice little salute tiger, though. Pink like is the way to go. Well, we were mid combo and you just stopped talking. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I was like, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, let's see how grandma. Yeah, let's see. Go, he's sunny. How's it going? Oh, well, it's nice in here. And go Yeah. Yeah. Go away. Oh, dang. You caught a big one. Go he. My guy. Out of the pile. Yeah. 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 I saw you miss that. That's Spain without the S, brother. He's back. Get him. Oh, it's close. Did you did you contact him on that one? Yeah. Also, he's gone. What is that strat? I'm eight yards away from you, not even. I'm another eight yards from Gohi. Like what? 
Oh no, there's a mark. And I had my line out of the water for it. Got him, he smoked it. Of course, it's a white bass. Hell yeah, brother. Just a little snarf. Did any of my steaks come up? No, but it's windier than poop out there. Hey, four perch on the floor now. Oh, I got crank. Oh, nice full line. Yeah. Oh, get up here. <laughs> Look at there, boys! Oh my gosh! First walleye of the 2021 season. Nice fight, told. There goes my rod. Oh, heck yeah! I got cranked. <laughs> Not right away. I got nipped. And I was like, and I looked down, and I picked it up. Like I lifted it up, and there's a mark right underneath it. And I came back and smacked her. open water right there well not open water but you know water on top of the ice blowing because there is open water about i don't know 800 yards that way but with this wind it's blowing all the open water this way or water on the ice this way and that is not good especially when we're on three inches so we're gonna back up and get out of here well, we got our lovely fish fillets right here. We get a nice little walleye chunk and we got a little perch fillet. Shout out to Peyton for letting me take one of his little perch. But this is all I need. I'm not a very hungry guy. I don't know if we're gonna cook them in the oven, stove top. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. All right, we got our pan. I'm just gonna turn it on a medium high heat and we're just gonna let the butter melt. We're gonna take our perch fillet, lay it down in there. And our lovely little walleye. That's nice in the butter. We can probably turn down the heat just a little bit. It might be too hot. Ah, yeah, some smoky barbecue. Gotta love it. Let it cook for about two minutes on each side, roughly, or something like that. It doesn't take long to cook. We're gonna flip them, season the other side, and take it off, let it cool down, and then we're gonna eat it. It's now time to flip. Ooh, look at that perfect crust on there. There goes the walleye. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh. All right, there's our beautiful fish. <clears throat> it is done cooking. The little tail broke off, so we're just gonna slap her down in there. We're just melting some cheese right now. It looks about good. We're gonna slap it on the fish there. Get on there, old son. But first, I gotta show you guys what the fish looks like on the inside here. Look at that nice flaky white meat. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh, that looks really good. It's still really hot. We're gonna let it cool down. Well, this looks very greasy and unhealthy. Probably not good for the tummy at all, but we're gonna go in for it. We got a little bit of the walleye filet right here. Look at that nice white flaky meat. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We're gonna go in. Cheers to you guys. Mmm. Wow. That is so good. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people say fish does not go well with cheese, but we're gonna try it. I feel like it can't be that bad. I was gonna make like a buffalo dip with the fish, but I was like, eh, I don't know how that goes. Okay, so we got cheese and fish and a chip. Cheers. Okay. Wow. Mm. So much better. That was from the walleye. 
Now let's try the perch. Ripped this chip. Alright, we got a little bit of perch. We're gonna go in. Still not bad. You know, as much as I like eating perch, I think perch tastes better fried. I'm gonna continue eating this. I'll let you guys know my final thoughts at the end. Okay, well, I just got done eating that, and I don't know. I just don't feel that good. I think it's from all that butter and cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know if I would recommend trying that. Uh, definitely probably should keep it with a better and healthier way to cook that fish, but uh, you know. Overall, the fish tasted fine. I just don't know about that melted cheese on top. That might have been a little bit too much there. That might have been a little too extra. It is what it is. I still had a fun day ice fishing, and uh, I was just kind of exploring that new recipe, and I don't think we're going to go back to that recipe. Unless you guys got a better idea on what I should be doing, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I know a lot of people just, you know, they just batter their fish on here. It's kind of annoying, especially... We do it a lot on this channel, and uh, I know you guys would like to watch something other than just battering up fish. So I'm trying to come up with new ideas, and uh, it's a little tricky. I've done a lot of stuff to different fishes, so don't forget Ducks is having a sale today and this whole weekend on some stuff. I'll pop up that picture again for you guys. If you guys want to go check them out, I'll leave their link down below. Hopefully, we have some safer ice coming on our way, and I hope if you guys are planning on going out to the ice or checking any spots for ice, Make sure you guys be safe. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.